start with the last 24 hours on our star, and following the previous day's X-Class solar flare, the sunspot production was minimal. We had two events at active regions worth noting for potential CME production even without flares. You can also see the dark coronal holes approaching central longitudes as well. While the prettiest pop was a plasma surge at the northern incoming sunspots, it was a coronal spreading on the south that catches our attention. Doesn't look spectacular, but the SOHO coronagraphs indicate a CME was launched in the event, and if this full breadth is correct, there's a good chance Earth will receive a glancing blow from the CME later this week. We'll be watching the updated coronagraphs and endless spirals today to confirm and have that full analysis tomorrow. Folks, the June sunspot counts are in and we have officially broken up past the marks of the last sunspot cycle. Highest monthly levels since 2002 as you can see on the top panel and we still likely have a bit higher to go this cycle. Solar flux about equivalent to last cycle so far as you can see on the bottom. Let's go next. Starting to see tons of articles out about how low snow totals in the spring are very scary in terms of climate change. So I will remind everyone as I do at this time every year that while spring snow cover is on the decline, we're slightly higher of late in terms of winter snow and in terms of the fall, the trend is as upward as spring is on the decline. By focusing on just the spring snow, most mainstream scientists are cherry picking and not giving us the full picture.